Perhaps you already know that you could be saving money through deductions on your taxes for cystic fibrosis, but are intimidated by the vast number of receipts and the process in general. Over the next few days, Victoria, Julie, and I are going to show you how to save big money. Victoria is a tax accountant and will advise us based on tax law. She has a son with cystic fibrosis. Julie has a family member with CF and is an organization guru. And myself and my son both have CF. So Victoria, what sort of medical expenses are deductible? Medical expenses can be described as the costs of diagnosis, treatment, and even cure of a particular disease. For people with cystic fibrosis, things like food, mileage to your doctor's appointment, and even electricity can be deducted. How do I know whether I should itemize or just take the standard deduction? And what's this business about that the itemized amount needs to be over 7.5 AGI? What's that? AGI stands for Adjusted Gross Income. This is basically your income after certain adjustments like education or educator's expenses, moving expenses for a job if you had to move for a job. And anyway, medical expenses that are more than 7.5% of the AGI can be deducted. The catch when using medical expense deductions is to remember that your itemized deductions have to be more than the standard deduction in order to be of benefit to you. The standard deduction is the amount that the government allows you to deduct according to your filing status. Can a caregiver take these deductions too? Absolutely. A caregiver can take the same deductions as the person with CF. There is a list on the IRS website that gives the types of medical expenses that can be deducted. It's called the Publication 502. Okay, so bottom line, if you're itemizing, you want to include all medical expenses for all family members because anything over 7.5% is deductible and you want to maximize that amount. Let's switch gears. Let's talk about nutrition. What if myself or my child drinks beverages recommended by a doctor? Are those 100% deductible or is it just a portion over a certain percentage? You can only deduct nutritional supplements if they were recommended by a doctor. CFR should have no problem getting a note for the, or a prescription for the nutritional drink. Obviously healthy people eat food. How do we know what we contribute to CF? You have a couple of options here. You can keep a log of everything that the CFR eats for two weeks and then review the receipts that you gather for the cost of the foods and then multiply the total number by 26 to get the yearly amount that the CFR eats. Or you can go to the CFF website where they have recommended a method that they use by the FDA. In the next video, Julie is going to show you how to document exactly what portion of your family's food bill is attributable to CF through a spreadsheet template that she has made. I promise it isn't difficult. Stay tuned!